Here are three things to look for when you receive an undefined method error when using formula mode in Workado. So I've run an automation here and I've run into an error with a formula. And to the right, I can see the error code. And within this error code, it looks like a lot of information, but the key thing to look for is this undefined method here. And right after that, it says string format time, which is the method or formula that I'm trying to use. And so what this means and what this tells me is that to the left of my string format time formula, there's some issue with interpreting the message. So with that information, we can go back to the recipe. And if we take a look at this, to the left of the string format time method or formula, I've added an extra period. And because of that period, the recipe or the formula is unable to process this data pill. So now that we've removed that period, let's click Save. And let's test. So I've run the job again. However, this time, when I run it, I'm getting the same message here, undefined method for string format time, but there's more information provided. I can see right after that, that it's unable to interpret it because it's using a string format when what I'm trying to do is convert a date into a date time. So with that information, I can go back to the recipe and I can see that the data pill I've mapped over is actually incorrect. So what I want to do is use a date pill and I can drag that over. And so let's try one more time. Let's save and we'll repeat the job here. And again, I've run into an error. So what happened this time? So again, we can see that we received the undefined method for string format time. And this time after that, we can see that it's unable to calculate the field because there's no value. There's uh, nothing to interpret. It received a nil value. So, so these are some of the callouts you want to pay attention to. And so if I go back to the recipe and I look at the close date, there's no data here to be pulled from. So what I need to do is pull a data pill that has data to pull from. So I can click the created date and replace the close date here on the right. And now we know that has information, so I can click save. And finally, I'll repeat the job. And there we go, the recipe was a success and the message or the date time was converted correctly. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.